just in the garden this morning. Oh, look at that. Strawberries are coming to come. But anyway, the reason why I'm out here in the garden this morning, well, besides having to, to water it and stuff like that, I wanted to show you guys something um, over here. And this sort of viney patch that you're seeing here, there's a bee buzzing around and all that. Growing up on the islands, I remember, and I'll show you. Let's see if we can zoom in on a couple. There we go. Um, this little baby here. Growing up on the islands, I remember my grandmother. Um, she had a plant. And it was just like baby cucumbers, but I guess they call it cucumelons here in Canada. So I'm going to harvest these, and I'll show you guys. There's a tunnel in here, see? A poly with me there. Yo, bro, where's your hat, man? This is the little harvest I ended up getting. Let's quickly show you another thing. I'll do a full garden tour coming up soon, but for my cucumber patch there, we ended up harvesting these guys this morning. But over here, if we walk our way over here, this is what I want for the recipe. And these are little bird's eye or bird pepper. We're gonna grab a couple of these. I guess from the title of the video, you would know it's a chow that I'm making. And chow was pretty much a sort of a pickle, a spicy pickle, um, quick pickle. It's done and you eat it right away kind of thing. And it's usually enjoyed when you're with friends and stuff like that, enjoying some adult beverages. Kids love it as well too, depending on how much heat you have in there. So I have the cucumber melons all here. Now here's the thing. When we were kids growing up, these little, mm, we didn't make chow with them. What we did was we would take salt and pepper. And when I say pepper, I don't mean black pepper, I mean scotch bonnet pepper. We would just smash it into the salt and pepper, boom, into our mouth. But today we're doing a chow. So all I'm gonna do is I need to expose the surface of it. So I'm just gonna slice it down the middle. And you saw the inside is here. And that's gonna give me that surface so things can permeate, can absorb in there. And it, yeah, it's gonna take a, a few minutes to do this. You need a, a sharp knife and be very careful when you're doing it if you are making it. It will take a few minutes to uh, to cut these up and be very careful. Now, the key elements of a good chow is one, spicy, and this is why we have these peppers that we picked in the backyard there. So I'm just gonna take the stems off there and we're gonna give these a sort of a rough chop as well. Now, speaking about spicy, I like to go a little bit overboard with my chow. So I also have a scotch bonnet pepper here totally optional you don't need to do it and what I'm gonna do is thin slices but noticeable so once you're eating it you know if you want to avoid uh, uh, having a big chunk of pepper or direct contact with these scotch bonnet pepper you can it's very visible let's just say it's very visible yeah I'll start all in there the other key component to a good chow is garlic so I've got a couple cloves of garlic. We're just gonna pop in here as well too. We're just covering all the basic bases. I have more detailed chow recipes on CaribbeanPot.com, um, some of which is just unreal, it's so tasty. Um, salt, we need salt, another one of those things. So I have here some sea salt, and that cucumber will absorb a lot of salt. So I'm just gonna add that in there. To help mix it, I have a splash of water. The herbal note, I always like a herbal note in there. So while I don't have um, shadow berry, I do have chopped up cilantro. And I also like an onion element in there. So one scallion that I gave a rough chop to. The final sort of component I like in, in chow is an acid. And that acid is usually lime or lemon. Today I have lemon. So that lemon juice is gonna go in there and it's pretty much, you're pretty much done. So you can pop it in the fridge for that 10, 15 minutes as I said there. And then, you know, 
And it's, it's one of them things here. It's a great little snack. And we usually do this with, with tart green mango or June plum and, and all those different things. <laughs> Sup, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pot. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Remember to be mindful that this is going to be spicy because of that scotch bonnet and those bird's eye pepper we have in there. Man, it's, this thing here, the smell, I'm telling you, man. And you see that, that liquid after? You're drinking that like, oh boy, like it's pure gold, it's like nectar of the gods. Providing you like spicy stuff, yeah? If you don't like spicy stuff, well, I don't know how you're gonna make out. Chris here, CaribbeanPot.com, my first time making cucumber melon chow. I do hope you guys get the opportunity to try this. Um, yo, it's real nice, man, it's our best thing. But I'm just gonna let this marinate for about uh, 10 minutes. And I'm on going on talking, yeah? Look at that.